This collection of photos shows only a portion of the guns and drugs now off the street, according to law enforcement. The amount of narcotics seized in this investigation was staggering. Jacob Galvin, the acting special agent in charge of the DEA Seattle Field Division, says the narcotics include more than 1,000 pounds of meth, 25 kilos of cocaine, 15 kilos of heroin, fentanyl powder, and 330,000 fentanyl pills. That's enough fentanyl to kill over 132,000 people. To put that in perspective, that's the amount of people that it would take to fill Lumen Field twice. The massive roundup is the result of an investigation led by the FBI. The Paleo and Gutierrez Valencia drug trafficking organizations uh, came to our attention in 2020. They were transporting large shipments of narcotics into our area from Mexico. Court documents detail the alleged conversations about trips to and from Los Angeles and Seattle, moving drugs along the I-5 corridor. Describe where some of, the, some of these warrants were served. Well, all the search warrants were served at residences or for vehicles. Um, so we have in Ballard and in Bothell and in West Seattle. Nick Brown, the U.S. attorney for the Western District of Washington, says it's happening right here in neighborhoods and it's having tragic results. As of mid-October of this year, there have been 743 confirmed or suspected drug overdose deaths in King County alone. This chart shows more than 470 deaths this year related to fentanyl. All city, county, and state agencies need to come up with a comprehensive and coordinated plan to hopefully help address this public safety crisis. And this operation, which started to first unfold in late September, has resulted in 17 people indicted and 110 guns seized. Live in West Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.